Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Boyd versus Henderson. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Boyd, you say the defendant's paternity denial destroyed your daughter's childhood and has caused emotional distress. You are here asking this court to order a paternity test to prove that Mr. Henderson is Regina's father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Henderson, you say there is no need for a DNA test because it is impossible that you are Regina's dad. Yes, Your Honor. The court will hear both sides and determine if there is enough evidence to order a paternity test. Ms. Boyd, I want to start with you. What was the nature of your relationship with Mr. Henderson? Well, Your Honor, um, I met Reuben, and um, he used to come by my house, like, for two years, try to get at me, and, you know, my mother and ran a tight ship because there was pastors of a church. And um, so, basically, that, you know, I couldn't really get out often to see him. So, you know, like, he'll pass by my house and make noise or yell to some, and then I'll you know, knows that, look out the window and knows that it's him and stuff like that, Your Honor. And so this started when you were younger? Yes. And he was in pursuit of you. He made it known that he wanted to get to know you, date you, and he would come by your house. That's what I thought, Your Honor, yes. That's what you thought? Yes, ma'am. So this ended up turning into a sexual relationship. He came to me, Your Honor, and said that, okay, once I started doing the do, he came to me, said that I would give my body up to other men. And that I didn't give him any. And when, um, I see, when he told me that, I felt like I was obligated since he was running behind me in them two years. Well, I might well give him some. He had told me, meet him in the back, because we stayed, like, in the same row. He told me to meet him in the back. So when I met him in the back, he snuck me in the house, because he said he was home alone. And that's how that got started. That's not true. That's so, what on. happened that's that night, Miss Boyd? What happened that night? It, it wasn't even that night. It was in the daytime, because I'm not allowed to be outside at night. Mm. So, anyway, <laughs> uh, I went... He took me in, uh, I guess, I don't know who room it was, but we did it, and majority it happened so fast, I, I didn't even think it could have been his baby. <laughs> that's, what that's what I'm talking that's about. Truth. That's what I'm and talking about. Now, you told the truth right there. But well, hold on, Mr. Okay. Anderson. Okay. Did nobody right. say it gotta be long? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Or good. Okay. <laughs> you can still make a baby. So what she said was is you two had intercourse. She Did said it was quick. We didn't have sex. She came into the room and, and, and when she came, she took off her clothes, I said, man, not now. Not now. Oh, I was Jesus. too blitz. I was high. She took off her clothes, and then when I took off my clothes, that was it. It was over. And, and then she said, she said, what's wrong with you? I said, I'm done. Yeah, I said, what's wrong with you? Because it happened so she, fast. She said, that, that's what I'm I didn't about. know what was going on. Cause I, your Honor, I was inexperienced. I shouldn't even been doing it in the first place, and I was young. But you, I but didn't... you just said you was having sex with other dudes. But like I'm talking about when me and you had that one time. I didn't know the zip. But you said you had... You, you didn't know you had sex with other guys? I said what you, they said. You, you had experience, Ruben. You had experience. You so had hold on, hold on, guys. hold on. What I'm trying to understand is you, you pursue this woman and you admit that. Yes. You finally get her to come over, you admit that. She says yes. you snuck her into the house, you admit she was I in the house. I didn't sneak her in the house. Okay, so somehow home. she was in there. Yes. You admit she was in your room. Yes. You admit you took your clothes off. Yes. You admit she took her clothes yes. off. Yes. But you don't admit you had sex. I didn't have sex. And how do you know that if you were admittedly under the influence? Huh? A time I got on top of her, it happened. Just that fast. Oh. Just, just that, that fast. fast. Oh, now I understand what not now means. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes. Let oh, it be told. But what you're saying is, is that there was penetration. Yes, it was, Your Honor. <laughs> well, okay, well, all right. Now I get what happened. So, and you, you left that night feeling like you did not have sex with her because mm. you, there was no penetration. No sex. You left that night saying, I just had sex with Mr. Henderson. Mm. Yeah, Your Honor. Yeah. <laughs> so, at the point you find out you're pregnant, take me to that moment, Ms. Boyd. Okay, first of all, I didn't think it was his baby because I was with somebody else oh. at the time. So, when I did um, find out I was pregnant, that's why I didn't think it was his. That's what I mean by um, I wouldn't experience because that, it happened so fast, I didn't know I could have been pregnant by him. 
just that fact. But you were admittedly saying you were also being intimate with somebody else at that time. Exactly. Were you using Co- protection with that person? No. When you got pregnant, did you tell that other man that he could be the biological father yes, of your daughter? Yes, that's why I thought he was the father. And he the one confronted me. You say Mr. Henderson confronted you? Exactly. And what did he say? Well, after I had my daughter, he confronted me saying that um, is, that's my baby. And I told him, no, that wasn't his baby. So he asked me, can he take it to his mother's house? Wait, how old was uh, Regina at that time? Two months. So at two months old, you... First of all, you find out you're pregnant, you say... You tell the other guy he could be the father. Right. What was his response? Well, he really wasn't happy about it. So he wasn't happy about it? No. Lauren Lake here giving you five seconds to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, you have the baby right. by yourself. Exactly. No, neither man was in no. the picture. No, And how does he see you to tell you? Okay, well, down, down from the, from the apartments, we got mailbox all in one spot. Okay. So, I'm walking down there with her in the stroke. With Regina in the stroke. Right. And what happened? And he walks up to me and tells me something, is that's my baby? And I told him, no, it wasn't his baby. And then he like, well, can we take it to uh, my mom? So, I told him, go ahead, it ain't your baby. So he took her in there and came back to me and said that uh, his mama said that's his baby. <laughs> Did that happen, now, Mr. Henry? That's what you said now. No. You gonna sit up and no. tell that lie. Your Honor, when I saw her, I said, let me see the baby. I said, oh, let, let's take the baby to my mom. I took the baby. She came with me. She waited out, on, out there on the porch. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I had the baby. I said, Mom, who does baby look like? And my mom said, who baby is that? I said, who the baby look like? She said, oh, she don't look like you. She don't look like you. So I took the baby back outside. But if you never had sex with her, what is all this for? Exactly. Why pick up a baby? Hello, amen. Because I was kidding with her. I was kidding with her. That don't make any sense, Mr. Anderson. It don't don't make any sense. So, Miss Boyd, Mm -hmm. throughout Regina's (laughs) childhood, Uh who did you tell her her biological father was? Well, it was um, another um, dude I used to um, mess around with. It was the other man that I thought was her father. Okay, so you told her that man was her biological right, father. Right, right. Did you ever get a paternity test with that man? Nope. And so you grew up telling Regina, this is your biological father? Yes. Th- Regina, the... was he involved in your life? Did you have a relationship with him? No. I didn't have any re- relationship with him because... <sighs> Well, he wasn't your father. I'm just tour. tired of just being rejected, you know? Okay, baby. I just... do understand, honey. Go ahead and speak. <clears throat> so, I'm sorry. I'm it's so okay. sorry. It's okay. You don't have to apologize. It's just that to see my brother, and I'm sorry, my siblings, you know, go to their father's house over the weekend and I'm home alone, you know, by myself, you know, that hurts me. You know, it brought, up, it brought about insecurities and stuff. So, I'm just tired, Your Honor. I really am. I understand. And you have the right to feel everything you're feeling. As we talk about the past and argue and try to figure this out, I think it's important that you give voice to your feelings and your experience so that they remember that as adults, they may have done this or that, but at the end of the day, Mm -hmm. you are the person that had to bear the burden for their mistakes. At what point did you become aware of Mr. Henderson. When did you learn about him? Well, um, the year 2011, Mr. Henderson contacted me on Facebook saying, I'm your daddy. And then I'm like, is he trying to talk to me? Cause he had his cat daddy blue suit on. And I'm like, <laughs> then he went on and said, I used to date your mom. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I, my, <laughs> my mom was in the room at that moment. So I asked her about Mr. Henderson. Um, she said she forgot all about Mr. Henderson. And then from there, m- me and Mr. Henderson um, exchanged numbers. And um, I go over to his house and spend time with him, trying to build a relationship. But when I leave, 
I don't, ha- don't get no calls, no texts, no nothing for him or, you know, at all. So, Mr. Henderson, why are you reaching out to Regina on Facebook, leaving a message, I'm your daddy, you admit that's you, why would you reach out and say that I... if you never had sex with her mother? Hello. I was going down my Facebook page and I see Renee's name. Her daughter's name was uh, Regina. I said, let me, you know, just joking. Hey, I'm your dad. Oh, come on. You were that I'm your da- I said, <gasps> I said, I'm your daddy. Hold on. Okay. You joking. Joking. Wow. So, so if that was a joke, what kind of joke is that? Why would you be that exactly. ignorant and that cruel to a young woman and you know she's looking for her father? I didn't know she was looking for so her. I didn't why- even know she was, she, she was pregnant. Listen. Hmm? Man. You either lying or I'm flying. <laughs> well, you probably... And we know I'm sitting in this chair on this bench. So this doesn't make any sense. Okay. Now, you know good and well you told the whole story about how you marched the baby up to yes, your mother and said it's your child. Right. So why would you entertain this young woman and say, I'm your daddy, and then take her over to your house mm. and spend time together, admittedly? If you didn't think there is some way possible you could be her biological father. I was just kidding. You. I was joking around. What with kind her. of joke is that? I was joking around with her. Oh, that's Facebook. I joke Why around would you people. joke around with a young woman 20 years younger than you who should be a child in your eyes? Why would you joke around with her? That, that, What's funny about around, that? I, I joke Nothing. around with a lot of people. Oh, Nothing. really? Yes, I do. Okay, I so hold on. So have you ever said, I'm your daddy to anybody else? Yes. So you just go around telling young women, I'm your daddy? Yes. Even though I ain't like been intimate with them. I just, for what? Just, just out of entertainment. I just so what that. is entertaining about getting a young woman's hopes up? Her hopes up? She had a daddy. That's, all, that's, what, I, that's what I was thinking. She had a daddy. She had, she had her daddy. What daddy did you think she had? The, the guy she was, she was with. The guy that she was with. Mr. Henderson, you just over here. Yeah, he's so this, this is oh, ridiculous. Oh this is such a ridiculous story, but I'm gonna let you finish this because I wanna hear how far this lie goes. So okay. now you had her come over to your family's house and what happens? She came over to my house with her mom and her sister. And we, we sat there, we talked. She left, she came to come back again. She left, called, we walked around. And I say, hey, Regina, I don't think I'm your father. I told her that. Oh, I said, well, Ooh, I said, well, we could... Help me, Lord. Oh, my goodness. And I told her, I said, I don't think I'm your father. We walking, we walking on the back trail where I live. We walking, I was telling her, I was explaining to her what happened, the details of what we did. And I told her that. Your Honor. And she said, she, she said, well, we, we'll get a test. We'll get a, a test done. So, Regina... I see how hurt you are. Yes. Do you remember the walk he said he took with you when he said, I don't think I'm your dad? No, Your Ooh. Honor. He did not say that. Ooh. He did not wow, say anything geez. like that. He oh, did Gina. not say anything like what that. What did he say? I love it. What did I say? Actually, you don't even we, know what you say, obviously. we just went, went for a walk and just had a, a daughter trying to, try to um, catch up with life, you know, just, ha- you know, what's going on what? with your life and everything. I do not remember him saying, I'm not the father. No. But what did I tell you about me and your mom? What did I tell you? He didn't, we did not have that oh, talk, Your goodness. Honor. We, I'm not her father. That's what I told her. No. I said, that's why we, we, could, we could get a test done. All right. I've heard enough. Your actions do not match your assertions. Mm. And for that reason, I'm ordering a DNA test. I want you to submit to the DNA testing and return to this courtroom okay. for the results. Okay. okay. All right. Yes. Court is adjourned. All right. <laughs> Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. The court is back in session in the case of Boyd versus Henderson. Before I go to the results, is there anything anyone would like to say? I want to say that, you know, I'm not asking Mr. Henderson for any money. I just want a relationship with my father. Money is not a problem. It's time for the results. Jerome? (laughs) 
These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Boyd versus Henderson, when it comes to 27-year-old Regina Wilson, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Henderson. Yes. You are her father. Whoa! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Very nice. You are her father. You know, I want to say, I want to apologize to him because he did try to tell me in the beginning, but I just hope you really do step up in her life because she really needs him. I will. I will. Okay. You very blessed, Mr. Henderson. Yes. You know, this this has truly been a saga. But I've brought you as far as I can. This court has brought you as far as we can. So you all are gonna have to work together. Thank you. We have counseling and resources for you. I will tell you this. The sex might not have been any good, but something good came out of yes, it. Is. A beautiful <laughs> little girl. I'm so happy you. you got your daddy. Thank you. Court is adjourned.